the eagles are, are flapping hard. Lots of flaps. Lots of flapping. That's good. It's 6 a.m. Sunday morning. It is cold. I'm like crying here from the wind. <laughs> Going to get the car. I like to start Sundays uh, in the office early. Except today is not a regular Sunday. You know why? Because it's Super Bowl Sunday. Yes, let's go. Ow. Sunday. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. Super Bowl Sunday. Check this out. Uh oh. What's up? My mom sent me all these home movies. These are all different scripts that I, I wrote for home movies that I made with my little brother. Script The Nair Witch Project, which was a horror film. It was a, a witch who came and tried to take our leg hair. It was a, it was an important, it was an important film for me. I was a very melodramatic kid. Look at all my notes. All these notes, movie, short movie, depressing, about life. <laughs> Go through a minute of each age, little baby boy, young teen, older teen, older man, death. Wow. See, my That's sense of humor came from my sadness as a little kid, apparently. Amelia, I'm waiting by the door. I'm ready, homeboy. This is what I get. <laughs> the cutest thing I think we ever. got a clip of like your I mom like, can being we like, discuss what is how awesome this vlog is? is you like it i love it oh thank it's you she's so only good. saying that because it's super bowl sunday and she it's has to be positive so good <laughs> i keep watching it over and over again I'm, what? I'm not gonna lie vlog yeah do you know what a vlog is I thought you sounded like vlog to me, and it I is, kept saying vlog. It is a, it's a video vlog. Oh, it's a, a vlog. Okay, vlog. 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 That's how you say it in Greek. Vlog. Yeah, vlog. with an accent. Vlog. vlog. Mm. One, one to ten. They're good. Um, one, one to ten, what do you think? They're pretty close to, um, I don't know, like a seven. Mm. Solid seven. Wow. I like them. All right. It's a rookie score though. Yeah. What? It's a low score. Well, Amelia's, Amelia's top, you know? I'm a tough grader. It's a chef. Mm. Yeah, she, well, you're a pro <laughs> chef now. Yeah, we were there. We were in Houston. I remember. It was great. It was intense. I mean, they were. People behind us. They were losing very badly. They were. There was one woman who she was a fan. And she kept telling us. She got, was so upset. She had flown in from Boston. She left her, her husband and her child just to watch this game, and they were losing. And so she got up in the halfway and she just left. Yeah, people were leaving. And she was so upset and a lot of people left because she didn't want to watch them lose. And they ended up winning and it was like the greatest <laughs> moment ever and she left. I'm like, why are people crying? Yeah, people are crying. Uh, now we're going to Madison Square Garden to see the Knicks game. I'm gonna sit on the floor. Oh, I think I made it. Great. It's a great parking spot though. In school, Sundays were always the worst because weekends were just for doing nothing. And then Monday through Friday was grilled into your head as work, right? That's when you work. And when I got to New York, you know, that, that kind of becomes like this disease. Right? Because then you spend your whole week, Monday through Friday, just waiting for Saturday, Sunday. Like, why do we, why do we tease ourselves that way? Like, why do we set that up? I know people feel like they need a break. So when I got to New York and I got out of the rhythm of school, I kind of made this decision of like, you know what? Okay, so I'm not gonna go out hard Friday night, Saturday night. I'm not just gonna sleep all Saturday and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday are also gonna be work days. But that means that I'm gonna do in seven days what other people might do in two full weeks because I'm gonna have seven days of time to do it and then 
every day won't be like a Monday through Friday craziness, awful, because I'll space it out. So you space out the work. And then every day I can kind of do whatever I want. So now Saturdays and Sundays are still the best days because I get to see Amelia a little bit more because most people don't come to the office like you saw this morning. But they're still work days for me. And that means that Monday isn't like a, oh God, I gotta go to work on Monday. No, because I'm, I'm always working in some way, shape or form. Enjoy. Okay, Bye, so we'll thank you. Uh, Next yeah, time I'll we'll get you a ticket. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see you at the game All right. tonight. Later. So who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? Oh, the Super Bowl is tonight? Yes. It, what? What? It's who, tonight. Who's in it? Which is the Patriots and the Eagles. Do you not follow football? I'm really concerned about New England's uh, opiate situation. I hope they figure that out. It's a very serious thing. I mean, it's uh, like that whole area is really feeling it. And I hope the Super Bowl brings some attention to that. I hope so too. Go Pats. Go Pats and the Eagles. Both sides. Both sides. So now I'm at uh, Dallas Barbecue on 23rd Street. I'm picking up like 10 pounds of meat to have all our friends over to watch the Super Bowl tonight. Did we get enough? The mac and cheese, lots of it. We got like 82 Enough pieces heart attacks. Of yes. This cornbread. We got all this brisket, pulled pork. What's in there? What is that? Chicken. Ah. Oh. It's medicinal. Yeah, smell it. It smells pretty good. Here we go. It looks kind of like a joint, to be honest with you. I love it. It's like. Yeah, hey, me of, maybe, me maybe we get Ryan's dark side if the uh, Patriots lose. <laughs> yeah. See, now they're pissed off. Uh, yeah, yeah. Now, 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 the, now the Eagles are done. See, like, like you can't go into halftime like, nah, nah. Get the fuck out of here! So they played the same play. Oh, oh just in Tom Brady's face. Brutal. Well, well played. Oh, well, wow. Well. <laughs> They're like, what? They're too close. What is it? They're too close, man. They're too close. Oh, it's a gift. What does the gift stand for? It stands for Giffy. <laughs> what so is the gift? It stands for Great oh, Illustration oh, for You. Everyone together, huh? That has more than GIF in it. I know, but the little F, you don't see the Y you see. I don't know what a GIF is. All right. Get the lead. All right, good. We got the lead. We got the lead. We're coming back. Let's put another one right here. Just another one. Just another one. Just another one. Right there. I'm gonna go find it in the bathroom. Hey, hey Ryan, I have some good news. What? You're still Ryan Stern. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like. Still got the ball. Like, it doesn't really matter. God, that's... Come on, that's so sweet though. They're crying. Yeah. No, no, no. Because we. Uh, no, I can't. How close I am to living. Living. That's it for this week's vlog, raw vlog. And I'm gonna raw it out right now on my cell phone in the car uh, as I wait for my next appointment to show up. And here's the question I have for you this week, okay? I wanna know where you're from and I wanna know what you do for work. 
I'm interested. A lot of people tell me, well, the only people watching your vlog are real estate brokers or just general salespeople. So I'm curious if, if you're not a real estate broker, if you're not a salesperson, I would love to know what you do. And if you are a real estate broker and you are a salesperson, write that too. So go comment down. Let me know where you're from. Uh, and let me know what you do and let's see what kind of group we're attracting with this vlog, especially this one. It is raw. See you next week.